Welcome everybody to KPE Paranormal. Today, we bring you all here to the River Valley Cemetery here in Louisville, Kentucky. As you will hear during the intro of the commentary, I've been here personally many times and caught many evidence of the paranormal at the cemetery. I've decided for us to come here today to do a daytime investigation. When I was doing this by myself, investigating here a lot, definitely caught a lot of evidence like I said in the beginning of the intro. So Joey will definitely be excited to see what evidence will capture at the cemetery and y'all will be excited as well. So we're going to get started on this investigation on this video. Make sure to smash that like button and y'all come with. Let's do this. Today, we are here at River Valley Cemetery. I've been here plenty of times and done many investigations here and caught a lot of evidence here from disembodied footsteps to spiritual voices, whistling in the woods, and this was at night. I took my dad to show him the cemetery and he heard the same stuff I heard as well during the day. But at night, it gets more creepier. As you see, it's a well-kept cemetery with beautiful trees, You can see how well it's landscaped. Now, back over here, I believe it's called a carport. Shows all the names of who's buried here in this cemetery. Back over there is the garden of the cemetery. What I think as well as I know, what causes a lot of activity continuously is the train tracks that surrounds the cemetery behind it or in front. I would say in front because that's the back and this will be the front. So, the front of the cemetery has like a train track, so that helps the spirits get energy to communicate. If this phone that I'm recording with picks up any voices during the beginning of the walkthrough, and if you all heard anything I missed, let us know down in the comment section below. Because this cemetery is definitely active. I believe it's either that one or that one over there that sometimes goes on and off by itself. We do have our equipment with us. So we are going to do an investigation here during the day. But you see this flood wall right here too, as well. So you got all this to, especially the train tracks, to help the spirits get energy to communicate with us. I just finished my intro, but this carport has a bench and another bench. And these are the three plaques or boards, whatever you want to call it, that shows the names 
of the people that passed on. There's a spider web right there in the corner. So right here could be a good spot for cat balls so you all could be able to see it. But all these names of the River Valley Cemetery are buried here. Now, there could be also names that do not have tombstones but however are in the ground and they just, you know, could not afford a tombstone so they tried to make one up, you know, to help them out. And there's this one I did a live stream on, which I thought it was interesting and pretty cool. It was like a sign, like, it was a handicap parking sign that they used as a tombstone for their loved one. I think it was a pretty cool thought because, you know, tombstones could be really expensive, you know. So they got to think of something to help their loved ones to rest in peace and have a decent tombstone versus no tombstone at all, you know what I'm saying? So at least that's something to help, you know. But over here, this billboard, it's like the whole layout of the cemetery. Funeral Hill too, because I think it would have been where the coffin would be at. They were unthinking. Right, like a meeting. Mhm. Mm what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna take you all with us and show you all the high spots of what I felt of the previous times I did an investigation at, of the cemetery. So you can kind of get a feel of what to expect when we start the investigation. So, right over here. See these views. Like, already I can still feel the energy. After walking through that cardboard, I felt like spider webs, but that's like, from the actual spiders, you know, so that's what I was feeling as like actual spider webs for the spiders, so that's what that is in the carport. But over here, I can definitely feel the energy spiking. It's not heavy, it's light energy, so that's good. Not as strong. And the temperature today, okay, it's a hundred, I would say 102 degrees, 101 degrees for the, uh, what you call it? Heat index, 101, 102 degrees for the heat index. So it's definitely humid out here right now. There is some wind that can come for each fire, so. But over here, it is light energy spiking right now. But not heavy like the just kid. However, over here, And this, well, a leaf just flew in the back of my head. Y'all probably seen that on camera. But over here, in this section part two, you can definitely start throwing the energy. Now I just heard something too. To my left. Right when I was pitching it. But right here, y'all. Because as you see, you can see like a little bit of goosebumps right there starting to form and that is the start of the energy of what you be feeling of the cemetery from the spirit let me know hey i'm here right about here right where that uh flower patch right there is like in this area is active so that spot there this spot here um, over there, not so much. Back by that tree, not so much. The garden, not so much either. I 
heard a faint voice as a male. Very faint. Let me know if y'all heard it, but it was a very faint. So, so far it's good. You know, no energy over here right now. So, five two and that flower patch back over there. Oh, I just heard it. I heard another voice. I'm hearing you. We'll start the investigation here soon. Showcasing the cemetery. Now, as you see, now these could be tire marks, more than likely from the cut in the grass. But it almost looked like tombstone markers of where they moved this somewhere else. So, more than likely, it could be like tire marks from mowing the grass. But right here is what I really wanted to show y'all. And I believe we can get a lot of activity here because this is just recently, I believe. This here, the handicap sign, the handicap parking sign. This one here. That's what I wanted to show y'all. That is really thoughtful, really beautiful. And like I said, tombstones could be really expensive, they really can. And, you know, they got to do the best thing they could for their loved ones to have the rest of peace, you know, so. We recall of what I was mentioning about uh, in the beginning of the intro and the walkthrough is that you could hear whistling in the woods at night. I'm not sure, I just seen a shadow went by there. Put the camera towards that way. Right by that small tree, the skinny tree. Like right there. Not sure if my finger's picking up the tree. But right about there, I just seen a short, yay tall shadow figure zipped real fast into the woods. I seen it. Just for a split second. Um but listening back here in the woods can be heard. University of Louisville, 1798, dedicated to those persons who so generously have bequeathed their bodies to the University of Louisville for research and educational programs. So these are the years of the uh, people who bequeathed their bodies to the University of Louisville out of the years that's placed here. So that's what 1998. We figured that out already. 2001, 2001, and 2001. So the lab hosting was in 2020. Look at the yes no box. As well, fresh new batteries dead already. Like, literally, this is fresh new batteries and they're dead already. Look at this fresh new batteries. Maybe the spirits would like the spirits were possibly taking the energy from this epic box to get energy to use other equipment of ours. But you see, it was not coming on at all. But it has fresh new batteries. Let's pick any up. Were you draining energy from the epic box to get energy to use for our other equipment that we're going to bring out? Did you use the epic box for yes or no? No.
Do you know who Joe is? His name is Joey Horton. You're welcome. Do you remember me? I believe. I've been here before. You've been mad. You too shy to talk? That's it. No, no reason to be sorry. You can also communicate using a cat boss if you like. Or the epic box. Or the you don't have to, no. But it'll be cool if you could. Alright, I will. It will not hurt you, I promise you. Focus the energy and touch one of the cat paws, please. Do you want to use the red pot instead? That'll be more easy. Camera's not even picking up the burn. There we go. Should pick that now. What is that? Is that you causing that? <laughs> yeah, 
Do you get chill? I know, you're good. That sound is coming out of nowhere. Can you step away from that, please? Thank you. Can you go back near it if I will see you? And do that again. I am serious. You go back near it and do, make that sound again. On the wood. Thank you. And it's not the wind. That was not the wind, no. And my race Are you getting strong? to go back near it, right? I asked the spirit to go back near it, right? And the response, as we all noticed and heard, the spirit did. But I asked the spirit to step away from it, to not make that noise. The spirit did as it was, you know, asked to. Oh. That's a hornet nest up there. Yeah, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, it is. Holy. Um, like, one might tell. One might tell. But yeah, as you all see, definitely the spirit responded with our request about going there and going away from it. And as you just sit, notice right there, as I was referring back to you. Thank you, that is so cool. But um, we're not going to stay at this area because look right there. And right over there. I didn't even notice that. Like those kinds of these little homes that they make, like little homes, but those are the house. Right. Alrighty, so I say this I could do this. I'm gonna gather this stuff and move to a different spot. We're not gonna stay out of this heat as long due to it being over a hundred degrees. So let's gather the red pine. Um won't shut food by me. Uh oh yeah. So we gotta hurry up and I can only do two. Oh, look at strong when you see. It's not making that sound anymore. That wood panel, it's not making that sound anymore. So, that was definitely a spirit using that to communicate with us along with the uh, spirit box. Oh, that's pretty cool. This will wrap up this part one investigation. There will be another investigation coming soon when the wind kind of like calms down and the humidity kind of calms down. That way the wind is not interfering with the audio in the investigation. And two, where it's not as hot with the heating decks being over 100 degrees. We were able to video the cemetery. So if there is any voices from the spirits, which there were, before the wind, you know, increasingly became strong. The phone, camera definitely had to pick it up and if you all heard it let me know down in the comment section below make sure to smash the like button share this video out kpe paranormal dylan and joey hey. and until next time love and peace